Absolutely. We'll see exactly what they are going to be playing as well, because uh, there have been some uh, pretty uh, interesting agreements people have come up with. Whether that's going to happen again is going to be the question. Did Xiang actually come into OMG to replace Gogo? I'm trying to remember. I mean, I was there. I was casting the OPL at the time. Like, what is wrong with me? I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. It's been a while. This brain of mine is just starting to turn to mush, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's see what they pick. They're not really discussing anything, at least not verbally. No, like, maybe, what are you saying? They're probably doing it telepathically instead. Or maybe they're typing to each other. Oh. <laughs> That's typingly, typingly, not verbally. <laughs> got it, got <laughs> of it. Of course, they don't. Max. They, yeah, they don't. They, yeah, that makes sense. A little bit because there was a time there where he was. He looked a little bit useless and wasn't doing nearly as much. Yeah. But uh, insanely skilled players such as Carsa were able to make it possible. And also playmaking players as well. Like if you're playing a more subdued playstyle. How about showmakers? Well, I mean, I'd be, I'd be ready. <laughs> the mid laner that I used to watch playing Lee Sin was Froggen. His mid Lee Sin was sick. Yeah, that's true. I Real used to watch good. the same thing um, back in like 2011, I guess. Yep. Um, by the way, guys, there is a rule uh, when 1v1ing. Um, it's called the Froggen rule. If you uh, do use a snowball and you snowball yourself into a fountain, you don't get to remake the game. Yes. It's the funnest of rules. That is the rule. Do dims the rules, essentially. Yep. Spectre's cowl first for the Lee Sin. I'll help him stay alive. As <laughs> Xiang looking to put together his arm guard. More aggressive is Xiang as uh, Kasa wants to have his kick flash capability available if he can get Xiang underneath the turret. As, uh, this Lee Sin skin is, it's just, w there's way too much going on in this one. Kind of looks I like think. Zed. Yeah, right? Like when he first came in, I'm like, what was he playing again? Is or that Raiden. Zed? You know, it's like yeah, young yeah. Raiden. As uh, Kars trying to get on in there. Safeguard is going to help him get his health back, but Flame Spitter is dangerous. Yeah. I like how he realized he couldn't avoid it, so he just went back in and tried to do more damage. Yep. You guys should also realize that as you're playing in solo queue. Very, it very much depends on the situation. <laughs> yeah, it does. But good calculations, uh, nonetheless. Ooh. Um, what is... Are their Poros, like, losing their minds right now? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe it's no Rumble. Either. Yeah. Rumble's just laughing. That'd have been some Poro feet that had gone on as, uh, uh -oh. okay, some very low health bars, double barriers to come out. There's the Ignite as Kasa has to flash to get himself out of the way. Now, waiting for Xiang to move on forward. The safeguard oh. comes in, and there's the Sonic Wave resonating strike for First Blood over to Kasa. Never doubted him for a second. Yeah. And by that, I mean I absolutely did. That was so close. <laughs> No, I mean, you'll notice he took Barrier Flash. The Barrier, I think, is very important when you're going up against Ignite Rumble. And the Flash turned out to be actually very nice to get out of damage just barely, to come back in at exactly the right time and just, you know, get the trades off with the Life Steal with the W2 that does come in. Yep. Spirit Visage now completed by Casa. But Oblivion Orb's there, so we are going to have Grievous Wounds available here by Shia. Can tank the damage much better, though, at least. And you can see he's kind of just running in, trying to clear out this wave, actually. So you yeah. can look for some trades. Feels like the itemization for the Rumble feels pretty comfortable right now as Casa is level 7, has the Dragon Rage Kick available, but no Flash or maneuverability. Standing in the minion wave can be dangerous given the safeguard kick options that Casa does have. Let's see whether he does get on top of that health pack, and he will do so. It's going to be a ton of health back actually, because now he can just, now that he's pushing off a little bit, he can come in, get full health. And this, it's going to be so difficult for Xiang to really do sticking damage against this uh, Spirit Massage Lee Sin. Actually, going to go for a bit of a back here. Yeah. 
the Rad Lightning Dragon. Spinning around there as well. He gets himself an, a new cape, just making sure that he has as much magic resist as possible. The Negatron clip. The Twaves here, he's just, you know, trying to stack it up. Make sure that Rumble does no damage first, and the base stats on Leeson's abilities can just carry him here. Although there is a bit of defensiveness being built by the Rumble as well, not nearly as much. Yeah, I feel like Omgod's just such a valuable item. Doesn't really matter which meta you're in, it's just uh, once you get those stacks up, and uh, you're able to do that. This scenario is Kasa. Sitting on his one kill. Doesn't really mean too much, though, if you get to sudden death. Let's see with that extra money that he picked up with the uh, with the kill, plus the extra minions that he has secured. He's going to help him win this one. Still could be tricky for the Lee to come out on top, especially with that Oblivion Orb sitting there. Not to mention the Ignite. Yeah, this feels like uh, a match that's probably just going to go until sudden death. And then... <laughs> Xiang's gonna be kicked out of the, into the, uh, into the fire, whatever you call it, the, the, yeah. the death circle. That does make things a bit scary, and Xiang hasn't taken, uh, the flash, which I guess is going to be a, a thing to watch out for as we move towards the sudden death. Just needs to try and force before that, I guess, but it is, uh, much more difficult when you're at a deficit. It's, just, is, it's a uh, really loud rumble skin. Yeah, it, it is. He's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> well, let's see whether Kasa can fit in an extra back. Let's see whether that can help him out. As uh, okay, she's yeah, actually doing a pretty good job here. Being down pretty low. Kasa is not even attacking. She's just attacking the minions. Yeah. He's really just playing the long game. He's like, no, this is going to go until the end. I can't kill him before then. I got my one kill early on. And also, why force it if I can just kick him out of the circle? Yeah. That would look much cooler, too. Yeah. So I think you should just wait until then anyway. Oh, Chiang. Goes back, builds some books. He's going to do some light reading on his way back towards the lane. Oh, maybe he could have bought, like, a... A Q oh, he doesn't have flash. Never mind. Could a QSS flashed out of the out of the kick theoretically. We have a leeching leer from the Lee Sin. That's an interesting choice. Gives him the Omni Vamp though, yeah. so that's good. I suppose that's the idea. Yep. Just trying to get amplify your Spirit Visage plus your Safeguard mm -hmm. to be even better at recharging. Maybe if like. It's like, I, I don't care about Grievous Wounds if I have even more vamp, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not really going to be taking too much damage. Also, does, does the ability power scale on his shield? Yeah, it does. Okay, so he's getting bigger shields now. And now we wait until this <laughs> until the circle comes in, and then we're going to kick the rumble out of the circle, because I can't die, and yeah. he will die in the circle. Well, let's see whether Xiang is actually going to pull the trigger a little bit earlier. The more he waits, the harder it is going to be. He's trying to beat him into kicking him early. But oh, well, he did kick him wait, early. Wait, what? Okay, just wandered out. Never mind. Okay, maybe the plan didn't quite work out like he was expecting it to. Well, I don't magic resist. That equalizer was like a red carpet that he seemed happy to walk on. As they're just <laughs> not doing damage to each other. This tank is in there. He's going to wait for his kick to be back off cooldown. That was the strategy. Oh my goodness, um, this, this Omnivamp situation, dude, this is just nutty. Yeah. It's like Xiang does no damage. Oh, oh. Okay, Kasa, can he do it? He does manage Barriers. to land the Q. Flash is still up. He can try and dodge <laughs> a harpoon or something, but at the moment, it just does not matter. Kasa is a raid oh, boss. Oh, there you what go. What was that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was game one. <laughs> All right, let's see whether we can have a, an agreement to do the same matchup again and see how it goes the next time around. <laughs> oh, man. Um, 
If we start seeing like Spirit Visage leashing Lee Lee Sins in our game from now on, I'm gonna be very upset. Ugh. That doesn't sound nearly as fun. That matchup was basically just who can survive the longest, and it turned out to be Lee Sin. Neither yep. side seemed to be doing any damage <laughs> until eventually the end they died. Yep. But before that, not too much. Well, now, continuing to have a bit of a giggle as we get into uh, our second match of this semi-final best of three. If uh, Kasa is able to uh, find a victory here against Xiang, he is going to be heading towards the final. It will be held tomorrow. He does need to yep. win the next match or one of the next two matches if he loses this next one. We'll see what they pick this time. I want to see not the Tangly Sin, maybe something a little bit more fun, <laughs> like a uh, brand or something. That would be cool. We yeah. saw one brand. We did. In the highlights of either round of 16 or round of 8 of I think the it was, LCK. Yeah, it was Beryl, wasn't it? Maybe? Brand versus Maokai. Yeah, oh, the match yeah. up for the ages. The Maokai pick was just the that most That was Jelly, cool. wasn't it? Yeah, Jelly yeah. just came in and died as Maokai. It was, it was a bit sad. But that's what happens when you blind pick, right? Sometimes it's just not what you want. Let's see when we're getting into this champ select. Whether we're going to be in champ select uh, one more time. Last time we did get to check out the bands and see how it goes down. Yeah, I would assume we get to do the same, but I hope so. Let's see what they have in store for us. <laughs> well, I think Kass is just going to have a good time, no matter what happens. All right. As uh, we do have a couple of bands already, similar to last time. As well, looks like we're ready to jump into the next one, the Snowdown Showdown. Ooh, and it is a very frosty Gragas as well. Yeah. I like it. Do need to have that uh, Skinnergy. Uh, with the map. Difficult to see as well, you know, on the blue side. It's Maybe all that's just why. melding. Maybe that's why. He's using it as an advantage because he has blue and white and the map is blue and white. Yep. Now he can just hide in plain sight. He might just look like a large minion. Yeah, you can just uh, you can just sit in the brush and they can't see him. Oh, Bear Trap on the rope is going to land. Is Xiang just happy to trade Skarl's health bar? Skarl gets taken down relatively low, but he can just keep drinking. Feel good about it. Ooh, Body Slam doesn't connect. Okay, Skarl's like health grasp. bar is quite low. I like the grasp in this one for the Gragas. He's able to take some really good trades with that. Yep. So yeah, press the attack for Kled. Nothing uncommon here. What you would expect. You're not going to give him as much sustain like you were talking about. He's already gone through both of his refillable charges. Sustain on Kled is an interesting conversation though, because of course you can just recharge Skarl again. So let's see how he goes about doing that. Just like this. Yep. Back he comes, and now Kasa has to run away. Uses the barrier now as Xiang knows that he can just hop off Skarl one more time. Doesn't find the shotgun pellets into the Gragas, though, who's uh, very brave. Oh, can he get forward? There's oh! the boop, and there's the ignite. Goodbye, Xiang. Oh, oh, oh. And Kasa with poise and precision. That was fine, man. That was so, that was such a good idea. Just came back in right before he could get on Skarl. Really nice trade. Real clean. Barmy Cinder as well as uh, the Glacial Shroud. The tanky Gragas is, of course, the our frozen is circle. Build it. Yep. Pahage for Shia. Going for that Gore Drinker by the looks of things. And now it's level 6, level 5. Um, as you mentioned, the Kled can work pretty well against Gragas' abilities. His trading, though, is, is really nice. And we've been seeing a lot of that here. Yep. I mean, theoretically, I mean, it should be working out for the Kled. But, uh, again, put on a rope. This castle just seems to be able to drink it, and it's all fine. Booped off Skull. Oh my goodness, is this just good night? Looks like it might be. Oh, the barrel. She walks back into it. But, uh, he's just looking to charge up once again. 
Get back on Skull. This could be a bait. It's a little bit frightening as Skull does come back. On the horn. Carson looks so comfortable in this matchup. He doesn't seem to have any issue with the play. Knows exactly how to play against him. So maybe not the best choice for Xi'an. It worked out so far, but let's see. Xi'an could possibly pull a rabbit out of a hat. Right now, certainly looking like Carson will be taking this. Especially now, finding him. Skull not going to be dismounted just yet. There's the body slam. Carson just looks like he can't lose health. Which is sad if you're a Xi'an fan. Off of Skarl again. He's just going to have to go back. Carson is going to take this time to push the wave while he knows that he has to back. But oh, actually, no. that was like literally the last second. Yeah. Because you know there's like that 0.25 frame where you can get hit by damage or something, but you still go back. Yep. But that one was right before. Carson, not struggling anymore. Like he was against uh, LJL and VCS is. Oh god, okay, Skull does come back in time as the Ignite comes down. Xian's going to pick up the health pack as well. Bear Trap and a rope comes in, but he still has a health disadvantage. Now has that untargeted ability available to him. Whoa, that was so close to just losing the series right there. <laughs> Karsa is kind of just dominating this one really easily from the get-go. Damn it, Farm. He's not even going back. He's like, well, when it comes sudden death time, then I'll go back. But for now, no need. There's the cask. Now Xiang does use his uh, oh. barrier, but look at yeah, that. Yeah, Perfectly done. Waits for the body slam. And that's going to be once again Karsa picking up the win. So a 2-0. So easy for Casa by the looks of things. Yeah. This guy's just man on a mission. The guy is just insanely mechanically skilled, and he's also really smart. Even in the way he trades in lane, it's it's so intuitive to him. It's